Oh, well, my name is Alison Brumwell, and I'm the librarian with Books Plus. I'm based here at Red Dolls Lane. And Books Plus, for those people who've never heard of us before, is Kirkley Schools Resource Service. Today has been absolutely fantastic because we've had Donovan Christopher, who's such a wonderful advocate for um, reading for pleasure, for schools, school libraries, for raising um, not just literacy attainment, but a love of reading. He's been down doing some rap work um, with local pupils. We've had Nigel from Imagination Gaming down as well with his, his brilliant range of educational games. And just a chance for colleagues within within the Red Dolls Lane premises to stop by and, and get more of a feel and a flavor of what we're all about. It's fine me saying we've got all of these wonderful things, but it is very much a case that you, you have to really come down and take a look. And we do welcome schools um, stopping by to, to talk to us, to take a look at what we have to offer, to go into the warehouse and have a bit of a browse. Um, so just give us a call and we can arrange a mutually convenient day and time to come down give them the opportunity to come in and, and meet with us, see what we've got to offer. Uh, you know, as I said before, you, you have to see it to believe it, really. People are always bowled over. Uh, good morning, all. Um, my name's Donovan Christopher. I'm here at Books Plus, um, as you can see. Um, I've been doing a session promoting um, my books, The Rapper Man and Rapper Man in the Book of Rooms, or Rapper Man to the Rescue in the Book of Rooms. This is the first book. This is Rapper Man. And it's all, all about you and the things that you know you can do and share with other people. Um, it's pretty much all around the world. I've, I've been. This came out in two thousand and eight, um, and it is from from Scotland to London in schools. Um, the second book, as you can see, is Rapper Man to the Rescue in the Book of Rooms, which generally suggests you can go to any room you like and read a book. Um, there's the Pentastic Apartment, the Rispec Apartment, the Culture Apartment, the Short Story Apartment, the Thinking Apartment, and your apartment. So you, you can start at the back, the centre or the middle. Because I do believe some kids see a book and if it's so stick as these three sort of thing, it can be a bit daunting for some of them to take a book up and read. Um, why not start a book in the middle? Why not start a book at the back? Rapper Man to the Rescue in the Book of Rooms gives you that choice. Um, it can be in your kitchen, your bathroom, your own bedroom, your sitting room, but the main thing is you read it. Enough respect. Rapper man to the rescue. English at school, um, growing up when I went to uh, a primary school and my secondary school, English was always interesting for me. I loved it. Um, loved the Jamaican better, but I did love my English. Um, we didn't really write a lot of poems, but I was always one for reading and listening to what was said and, and understanding what words were, what, what they meant. Um, so that's where I sort of draw my sort of um, skill towards it from. I, I think it, I just started writing some stuff down. I've always liked m music and I've always been a bit of an MC. And then I started writing some stuff that it wasn't really stuff that you MC. And it was more poetic um, and it was just a form of expression. And sort of built it up from there. It was about local issues, um, about people, about the environment, just about everything in general. But first and foremost, it was all social conditioning of of, us, of our neighbourhood and things that were happening. I think it's more of um, the, the inspiration is everybody, kids, people, the environment. It's just you've got to be able to see it yourself. I think that's all it is. Um, some poets, I, I presume, specialise in in nature, things and live animals and stuff like that. But I, I think I'm just everything. Poetry's everywhere. You can hear it in the background if you listen. Because poetry is, is just words. And to me, if the words are sincere, um, or humorous, or thought provocative, then there's a hint of poetry in there. Listen to your mates today, you'll find loads of poems. I think the inspiration comes from everything and everything is just I think people are like sponges, I can be like one. I might not write nothing for months, but I've seen it all and I've felt it all. And I'm um, just really waiting for that space and time for me to, to write. Some people have a structure to write in. I tend to write when I'm when I sort of on the vibe, so to speak. I don't go home and say I'm going to write tonight, because if I say that, I probably won't. My message to young people that want to write, that really want to write, because um, I think we all have to write. 
and as you get older writing becomes a specialist thing for, for, for those people that do like writing some of the, some of the youngsters think I'm only going to write for a time but my advice is if you are going to write just write just you know you don't have to show it everybody you can just keep piling your writing together and show it to your friends or your close family members and let them decide you know what what you're writing you might sort of like what you're writing anyway but the main thing is just write your ideas down with a scrap of bit of paper and um, they'll just build up and if they're good they will see the, the light of day and if they're not you share them with friends and family will be quite happy to hear them also and be proud of writing I scribble these books are generally found um, with me um, you can go to amazon.com and find um, copies but it won't be signed um, generally when I do the workshops in the schools at the end of the day we have a book signing and it, and it personalises it it personalises it for the, the student or the reader because they actually get a personalised signed copy rather than just getting one from Amazon with a price tag on the back of it so if you need to get Rapperman or Rapperman to the rescue you need to book Donovan Christopher Donovan Christopher is contactable through Authors Abroad or Donovan B7 at hotmail.com thank you very much yeah, my name's Amanda Ambler and I'm a librarian. Obviously I work for Kirkley's Library and Information Services, but I work for the mobile and home service um, department. The mobile service, uh, we have um, various uh, mobile libraries which uh, go on um, routes all around Kirkley's. I think we have over 40 um, different routes serving all parts of Kirkley's and obviously we serve um, every um, aspect of the community from, from babies right up to, to elderly people. Um, and then the, the home service um, uh, drivers, they deliver um, books and information to, to people's houses. And then we also deliver to care homes as well. It's quite well used at the moment, but I think as, as with our libraries, we're always trying to, to promote the service and, and get, get more usage. Uh, so that's something we are working on. Uh, one thing that we're quite keen to do is work in conjunction with um, more partners and um, partnership working, such as um, we've had contact with um, a lady from Age UK who's interested in coming on to the mobiles to deliver um, information sessions to elderly people and all sorts of things like that. Um, and we also do a lot of work with schools, um, which is a very important, important um, part of what we do. And for example, myself and one of the um, driver sort of customer service officers are going out to Pentland School every Wednesday morning at the moment um, with the mobile library. And the children come on in groups and we deliver sort of story time sessions and they get the opportunity to have a look at the books and choose a book to take home as well. And that is absolutely fantastic because the children get so excited about coming onto the mobile library. So before they've even got onto the library, they're already excited about books and reading, which is wonderful to see and that obviously contributes to the literacy work that, that's already done in school. I used to work at Huddersfield Library so it's been quite a change for me coming from a branch library to working with, with the mobile department and it's just such a, a, a wonderful department to work for really, all, all the staff, all the drivers, the, the CSOs are absolutely fabulous and it, it is such a, an amazing service. I mean for example the um, drivers that go out to people's homes they go out to, to deliver books but some of the people that, that they see, uh, perhaps some of the, the elderly people or people who can't get out and about, um, absolutely so look forward you know, to the, to the driver coming and it's not just about really delivering books, it's about being there, going in, having a chat with these people because for some of them the driver might be the only person that they get to see during that week and the drivers do so much for our customers, they deliver the books, they'll have a chat with them, sometimes they'll sit and have a cup of tea and a biscuit, they might even change a light bulb where they, when they're there or check the battery on the care phone for them. So yeah, I think it, you know, it's just that, that there's so much more to the service than, than just delivering books really.